set of videos that I'm going to present here, we're going to talk about patterns and symmetries. Um, it may be uh, module three in your books, or it may be module four or so. So the things that we're going to talk about here, we're going to start with the introduction and some definition of terms. So we must identify what a motive is. So a motive is any artistic creation. Okay, it starts with what we call a motive. According to a book of Grandbaum and Shepherd, a motive is any non-empty plane set. So if you have a plane set um, and you put something on it, um, on any object, any drawing there, any illustration, it's what we call a motive. So a pattern is described as repetition of those motives. So if you have a, cer a certain motive and then you repeat that on a certain plane, uh, we call that a pattern. And how can we repeat this pattern? Okay, we may use these transformations, which we call. So transformations are either a turn, a flip, or a slide of any figure, just to add their shrinking or enlarging of some object is also um, part of transformations. So a transformation um, that creates an image that is congruent to the original figure is called rigid transformations or what we call isometry. Um, there are three types of, of isometries overall. We have translations, rotations, and reflections. Um, a transformation that changes the size or shape of a figure is not considered an isometry. So we're going to talk about isometries um, further in a while. But let us try to look at the different types of transformations here. So the major types um, are the translation, rotation, reflection, and dilation. Um, when you say translation of a slide, um, you slide it along a straight line path, moving each point the same distance in the same direction. Wherein you describe a translation using a translation vector wherein you, from this um, image, you point it, you have a vector pointing out there, and you will simply recreate that image. So you simply slide the image um, if that's the case. When you say rotation, I think from the word itself, you know what will happen here. So given an object, you rotate that object. And when you rotate that, you preserve the image of the object, you preserve the size, but the object is now rotated. Um, a reflection is, if you have an object here, you should have what we call an axis of symmetry or a line. It depends on you where you want to put it. So if you want to put the line over here, you should have a mirror image over here. Okay, so that's simply a reflection there. And a dilation is simply, if you have an, an object, a dilation is a enlargement of the object or a shrinking of the object. So that's simply what dilation means. Okay, um, in the next few videos, I'm going to make use of GeoGebra on, on how to create these transformations. And um, you can, you will, I will thoroughly discuss translation, or rather, yeah, these transformations rather, and I will thoroughly discuss translation, rotation, and reflection, and those types, since they are the ones considered as isometries. So, um, see you in the next video. Thank you very much, and I will be discussing isometries next time. Thank you.